that's a great shot he's just given himself a bit of room there and got on top of it and cuts the final ball of a fantastic spell from Alzari Joseph to the boundary rope for four Joseph will be a bit annoyed about that but he's been outstanding tonight I think that'll be two for 29 off his four two in two balls but a very good shot that from Patel whistles off to the boundary rope for four and there are six overs remaining and the Delhi Capitals here on BBC Radio 5 Sports Extra Matt Floyd 112 for five so up around 160 we're looking at here aren't we I would say they're looking at 160 minimum probably because they do have a little bit of batting left after these two Aman Khan playing in just his second IPL match but Ricky Ponting has been talking up his power hitting a young man who they've just brought in if they can go it 10 and over from here that'll be 172 but the problem is Rashid Khan yes. he's got three overs left <laughs> that's the thing isn't it as first delivery of this the 15th over from Rashid Khan there might be a run there but yeah that, that's the thing he's still got 2.5 overs up his sleeve Rashid Khan so you might have to go from the other end but then you think there's still some pretty good bowlers coming from the other end as well as this one's just off the front foot just tugged away into the the leg side single there will rotate the strike and bring Aksha Patel back onto the strike 113 for five so for us there's Moved on to 21 now from 26 deliveries. Just the one solitary boundary in that. Shabangil's in there at slip. Aksa Patel settles over his bat as here comes Rashid Khan to him and just skips on to Aksa Patel. He pushes this one off the, the back foot down towards long off. They'll pick up a, another single. And that brings Safaraz back on to strike once again but it was a great shot to the last ball of that Alzari Joseph over from Axel Patel because the previous delivery was right up in his armpit and he played it very very well that one he just gave himself a little bit of room so for us we'll just whip this leg side and get a run there but Patelli who's getting excited about this pitch is Unric Nokia in the Delhi Capitals dugout rapid South African fast bowler if Alzari Joseph's going to be bouncing people. Yeah, Safraz is sweeping this. That's a great shot. And Little again does very well out there at deep backward square because it sort of spun off the turf a touch. Rashid Khan's ended up sitting down. Did he run into Safraz? Because that is not something you want to do. Heavyweight clash. There's only going to be one winner in that. And uh, Rashid Khan has ended up sitting down there. But yes, I think... They've sort of got, oh, Safaraz was watching the shot. Oh, dear. Yes, that's going to hurt. Just run straight into Rashid Khan. Oh, oh, dear. Yes. Anyway, if that was uh, rugby union, I think that would be 10 minutes in the bin there. Yeah, didn't use his hands, did Not he? Not at all. Shoulder charge. Absolutely no use of the arms there. But Rashid Khan is fine. As this one is swung by Axa Patel for six. Just gave it a little bit more air. And Patel, who's in, in good form with the bat, as we were saying, swings that one away for six runs. Thank you to Matt Floyd. He'll take a break. Ravi Bapara is back alongside. And, well, at the moment, Ravi Bapara is looking around about 160 for the Delhi Capitals. But it's going to be a very interesting chase as well for Gujarat, isn't it? Yeah, it will be. And uh, 160 might be a challenge. I think five down, yeah. You're looking at 160, 165, uh, which might not be a bad score uh, on this pitch, especially if the likes of Nokia can get the ball in the right area and, and get through the first three or four, the top order of Gujarat. It's been hard work, this, for the Delhi Capitals, hasn't it? I was just saying, Alzari Joseph absolutely outstanding four overs uh, start of the 16th swing and a miss from Safraz it's Josh Little back into the attack and Safraz was trying to swing that one over mid-wicket lovely shot from Axel Patel and going over long on for six off Rashid Khan 
Oh, she kind of a bit annoyed about that. He's probably still recovering from being knocked over by Safraz as he was just stood there minding his own business. Yeah, Safraz waits once more on 22. Little is over the wicket to him. Safraz hasn't got all of this, but has pulled it over mid on on the edge of the circle. We'll get a couple. Safraz moves on to 24. It's an obvious thing to say, Ravi Vapara, but Safraz's job here is to make sure he now doesn't get out now. It's a really difficult conundrum for him because he's battled away here. But they need him there at the back end. Yeah, but at, at the same time, you've got to weigh up whether 160 is going to be enough. Uh, yeah, you know, he can hang around and, and all that and then get to 160 and then suddenly find that it was never enough. He's done well to reach this one from Josh Little banged it in wide outside the off stump toe ended that down towards third now chatting with the the umpire Safraz I think one of the things it might be better off that he just goes hard now and just says look 160 165 is not going to be enough I might be able to make a difference if I go now and it comes off I can get us up around 180 then we really are in with a shout it's just 160 just just doesn't seem enough on an Indian pitch. Little is in. This is tugged off his hip by Axel Patel. Down towards fine leg. Shami does the fielding. And the 16th over, 124 for five. Yeah, looking forward to watching Nokia bowl on this. Obviously, he's in form anyway. We're seeing poor old Rashid Khan getting knocked over again by Safraz. He was so busy watching where the ball had gone. Just run straight into Rashi Khan, but he's all right. Rashi Khan running away to the crowd as Josh Little left arm over the wicket to Safraz. Again, doesn't time this. And that'll just potter out towards David Miller at deep mid wicket. But he's definitely looking to get on with it now. He's broken his bat on this occasion. And Axel Patel comes back on to strike. He's struck it pretty well so far. 17 off 10. Warner made 37 from 32. And poor Al on his debut, 20 off 11. There was a duck for Riley Russo, first ball. Mitch Marsh went for four and Shaw went for seven. Little is into Axel Patel. And Patel just nudges this with an open face down towards backward point. Won't get a, a single. And that is the end of the over. We're going to have a timeout. 126 for five. So... Time out. Axel Patel 17. Safraz 26. And just give us an idea, Ravi Bapar, of what's sort of being talked about in a strategic timeout. Uh, n not, not a lot, lot to be honest. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> if, if you're a batter, it's usually the coach come out and, and you know, maybe the batting coach come out and, and they'll ask you. How you feeling? How, what's the pitch like? All that sort of stuff, the basics. And then they might say, look, what do you reckon is a good score? You might speak about what they reckon is a good score. Uh, and, and that's it, really. And then if you're a fielding side, it's generally a lot depends on how it's going at the time. Yeah. Um, if you're getting smacked around, then you'll get all the cliches will come out. Um, you know, we've got to want it. <laughs> all this sort of stuff starts coming out. <laughs> Uh, mm. And then if it's if it's if it's going well, then they just mm. say good lads, carry on, yep, yep. and then just a few pats on the back mm. and, and and off you go. Yep. Quite like it when an iPad goes out as well to sort of show things. I always think that's quite yeah. fun te technology. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, mm. It doesn't seem to be a huge amount that goes look on. Still busy. Still look busy. Oh yes, absolutely. The old and iPad I, well, and, I've, I've um, been saying as well, Robert. Before, my favourite thing is he. The great players of yesteryear that stroll out there as well, sort of spotting who's in the dugout coming out. I've just seen Shane Watson's wandered out there as well with Ricky Ponting. If, you, if you're an autograph hunter, it'd be absolutely marvellous, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? You could get some, some absolute belters. But we're just seeing the highlights of this Capitals inning so far. One, two, six for five. Gujarat Titans winning the toss, deciding to bowl. And Alzari Joseph, outstanding figures of two for 29. Pretty sure was the first to go. Caught by Joseph off Mohamed Shami for seven. 
Mitchell Marsh was then bowled by Shami for four. And then the irony of the strategic timeout was... Oh, apologies there. We just lost our feed for a second. We'll just... I'll keep going. It'll be back in a sec. I think that's actually... There it is. It's back again. Um, but the irony of the old strategic timeout was straight after the strategic timeout, Delhi Capitals lost David Warner and Riley Russo in two straight deliveries. So those two went both off Joseph and then Perel bowled by Rashid Khan for 20 on his debut but impressive debut innings 20 off 11 balls took a bit of pasting from Joseph but got through that and now Rashid Khan will bowl his third over 1-2-6 for 5 so 4 to go and then at the current current run rate It'll be under 160. It'll be 158 for Delhi Capitals. Over the wicket then comes Rashid Khan. And this one swung off the front foot very nicely with the slog sweep from Safras. That's whistled off to the boundary for four. So boundary off the first ball of the over. And Delhi Capitals 130 for five. Yeah, it's a very, very strong shot for Safras. A sweep shot. He does he gets down early. It's a shot he looks for off the spinners. He loves the ramps and the cuts and, and, and the sweeps. He's that type of player. And uh, putting that where we Apologies lost again. The feet, I think there is a slight, slight problem with our feed at the moment. We'll keep going. Difficult not seeing anything at the moment, but we'll just get... It's trying to come back. Here we are. We're back again. Oh, and I think a wicket's fallen. It has. Apologies there. Safraz has gone. We've just caught the back end of Little diving forward who's been outstanding in the field I think there's a slight problem with the satellite dish but Safraz has gone Rashid Khan has a second wicket tossed up slot sweep again but it's gone straight up in the air off a top edge and Little takes the catch and he put one down earlier but he has been outstanding in the deep tonight but Safraz goes for 30 and Delhi Capitals, Ravi Bapara, 130 for six. Yeah, it's a big wicket at that time as well. Then, you know, just looking to to up the scoring rate, get it up around about that 170. But you've got to deal with Rashid Khan. He's got the ability to turn it both ways. He's got the ability to just take wickets. He could could make things so difficult for them here because they've still got to play aggressively. The, the question will be, will he bowl his fourth over? He's two for 20 off 2.2. Will he come back and bowl his fourth over or will they go with the three fast bowlers to finish the innings off? It's going to be a massive decision. Well, well they've got to be careful here as well, Delhi Capitals. It's not getting bowled out. And that's the other thing here. So Alan Hakim Khan is out there in the middle. They're going to open the window and put an extra coat hanger outside just to keep the, the feed going at the moment. Alan Khan, his first delivery, the right-hander. He's not picked that looking to drive thick inside edge rolls away to mid wicket and there's no run they have got to be careful here the Delhi Capitals as I say not to get bowled out 130 for 6 Rashid Khan in once again and this is swung leg side oh one bounce out towards Josh Little and Khan is off the mark and it brings Axel Patel back onto strike on 17 yeah, I think Axel Patel's probably got a better chance of coming after Rashid. I mean, the left-handers generally have a better chance against Rashid. It's the right-handers that he's lethal against. And um, I'm just having a look at the over rate here. Cool. It's taken an hour and 36 mm -hmm. minutes to bowl. We're, not, we're still in. The, we're only in the 17th over. Well, that's where the feed's going down. As this one's pushed by Axel Patel straight back up the pitch, and there's no run. It does take a very very long time to get through these games as I say honest, you know, we've been up with the third umpire looking at dismissals that everybody knew were out there's a quick singles taken here and the throw comes in one bounce over the top of the stumps and they will pick up another single and oh, again I do apologise our feed is I think this is the world feed is, is having a bit of a struggle today much like the game itself trying to get through the overs 132 for 6 after 17, the Delhi Capitals here on BBC Radio 5 Sports Extra. Axel Patel has 18. And Aman Khan is on one. But it just does take a very, very long time. It's almost like a... 
It's almost like a one-day international these days, a game of yeah, IPLT20, yeah. isn't I was it? I just thinking it's sort of averaging around five minutes and over at the moment, which is it's ridiculous. It's almost it a minute, minute a ball. No, no, it is just I just wonder whether to. they're going to penalise teams or not. There's Josh Little with the 18th over, and Axel Patel stands up straight and pulls this one down towards long on. I'm, I must admit that it doesn't look like anybody's in that much of a rush. As we're just seeing the, the highlights again of Joseph. As that one high in the air for Josh Little. Yeah, the apologies again. Feed everywhere is in a bit of trouble. Seems to have got itself going again now, which is, is good news. As Josh Little, as the, the trumpets go off around the ground Little getting ready to come in over the wicket and that one backing away with Zaman Khan it's nothing on this and it's taken by Sahar behind the stumps but yes it doesn't seem that anybody's in any great rush at the moment I think we at some point they've, they've got to do the the field that comes up the, the umpires have got to be stronger uh, and only then, when the other teams see this happening, they will take note and think, actually, we've got to get round. Yeah. It just does take too long. There's little is in, and that's what Bolt just trying to back away, give himself some room as Aman Khan, and the throw came in as he was trying to steal a single, but they'll get a single. Apologies once again. Just lost our, our pictures and sound for a second, but back it comes. And 1.30 four for six and it was very well bowled by Little he's got good figures tonight as well over four. hasn't picked up a, a wicket as yet but none for 20 in his fourth yeah, yeah it's been it's been that sort of pitch it's supported the bowlers you expect your overseas Seema to have a good day out and he certainly had a decent day out still got three balls to bowl I mean if he if he can come away at going at six and over he'd be disappointed he hasn't taken a wicket but Done a good job. Into Axel Patel. He might get one here as Axel Patel got a lot of that, actually. That's a hell of a shot from Axel Patel. Gone inside out, over extra cover, and away for six. Almost looks as if he hadn't got hold of that, but it soared away. And great shot from Patel. Yeah, sort of going inside out, slicing it, really, and going 77 metres for six. I mean, T20 is a crazy thing. I mean, you can go from little Zin, a short ball on the hip, and pulled away by Axel Patel. He'll get a single. And he moves on to 26. Uh, 141 for six. Sorry, two, really. two balls can can make the difference from you having, you know, a decent average day with the ball to having a bad day with the ball. Um, you know, if Axel hits, hits him for a couple of sixes there and gets away. You know, you'd think, well, he's almost gone from being a runner ball to uh, an average an average day out on a supportive pitch for, for a bowler. Yeah. It's no, it's no fun being a bowler at times. As Little is in, slower ball, and that's drilled by Amon Khan out towards Gill on the edge of the circle. Cover, looking forward to watching him have a bat a bit later on. So two overs remaining here on BBC Radio 5 Sports Extra. And Josh Little's bobbed very well tonight. And 141 for six then, Delhi Capitals. And you just feel Axel Patel's got to see as much of these last 12 balls as possible, hasn't he? Yep. Um, and it doesn't look like they're going to go to Rashid Khan. Are they going to bowl Rashid Khan? Yeah, they probably will. He's got one left. It's just, do they risk a spinner at this stage? I mean, it is Rashid. Or do they go with their quicks? I mean, Hardik Pandya will have to bowl one of them. Yeah, just looking at who's got what left. Shami's still got an over up his sleeve as well. And Pandya's got one up his sleeve. It looks like it's Rashid Khan. To bowl the penultimate over. And slog sweeping is actually put out, out towards deep mid-wicket. David Miller does the fielding. So... They won't mind that, good rap Titans, at all, because Axel Patel's single off the first ball of the over is now off strike. Yeah, I think it's, it's a good option because it just 
gives them an opportunity to get a couple of wickets, really. Here is Rashid Khan bouncing in. Aman Khan is chipping this down to backward point, thinking about a single. There isn't one there, so terrific start to this over. Round of applause from the Gujarat Titans dugout. Is the googly coming? First ball was a leg spinner. Is the googly coming? He's in now. There it is. Top edge. Oh, he's got a fair amount of that with the sweep, though. And that's away for six. So Aman Khan has swung with the sweep. Rashi Khan away for six. Much needed maximum. Picked by Ravi Bapara. Picked as well, though, by Aman Khan. And that has soared away over mid wicket. It was nothing more than a short arm jab. Really. Yeah, that's the thing with top edges. They do go a long way. If you're swinging hard enough and you get the top splice of the bat, especially square, it does, it does fly off. One, four, eight for six. Aman Khan's gone again. Looking to go leg side. It's gone high in the air. Pandya takes the catch. Terrific bowling again from Rashid Khan. And Aman Khan there was looking to repeat the shot, but that's gone the other way. And has hit the outside edge and just pootled into the offside. And a very easy catch for the captain, but it's lovely bowling. It's the leggy, and he's looked to go leg side with it. And Pandya takes the catch. And Aman Khan's innings comes to an end. He's made eight. And it's 148 for seven, Ravi Papara. Yeah, I can't quite work out. Is it what Aman Khan is batsman or bowler? Or I hope he bowls. <laughs> but I think is he, is he more of a batter than a bowler? Yes. He uh well he, he connected with the previous delivery and that soared away for six. But out there in the middle now. There is a, a bit of work for Axel Patel to do. The problem he's got as well is he's off strike, is Axel Patel. He needs to be on strike. And Rashid Khan is in. And they'll get a single here. And that'll be one more to the total. I think Yadav is out there now. He gets a single off his first delivery. That will get Axel Patel on to strike, but he's only got one ball left. Ricky Ponting watching away there. Axel Patel, final ball of Rashid Khan's spell tonight. And that's pulled by Axel Patel behind square on the leg side. The work is very good out at deep backwards square. And Axel Patel will only take the single there, so he's on strike for the start of the final over. Rashid Khan finishes with three for 31. There is one over to go here on BBC Radio 5 Sports Extra. 150 for seven, Ravi Papara. Yeah, 150 for seven. Still short, I think. Uh, this total is... Just... They would want more than this, but uh, it just seems like the pitch is taking a little bit of turn. It was certainly there for Rashid Khan. Rashid Khan's not a huge turner of the ball. Um, his biggest asset is that nobody knows which way it's going to go, even though it's going a little bit. It's just... You're never quite sure which way it's going because it's, it's really, really difficult to pick. But um, but there is definitely turn in the pitch. It does have a slow nature, a little bit of nip with the new ball. So you know, they want to get themselves around that 160. My axe has got to have a good over here. You know, if he can get 10 to 15 off this last over, it gives him a sniff. It'll be Mohamed Shami to bowl the final over. So Patel is on strikes, played a lovely hand here. 28 off 18 balls with two fours and two sixes. Last over, Shami's in. Axel Patel one-handed, swings this away. About 10 rows back. What a start to the over. That is for the Delhi Capitals, but one-handed. Lovely swing of the bat, though. And soars away for six. And it's 156 for seven. That's just the thing. You know, that's, that's the worrying thing for Delhi here is that when you do actually just swing, it, it just goes for six. The ground's so small. It's so, so many miss hits have gone for six today. It's, it's, it's almost like every time you have a swing, it goes for six. And that's going to be the danger for, for Delhi. I mean, they can, they can get 170 from here, but the, the biggest problem is it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's children's boundaries. Yeah, Shami's in, and this one's pulled by Axel Patel out towards deep backwards square and uh, won't take the single so he stays on strike 
So Patel, 34 of 20. We're just seeing the wickets of Mohamed Shami here. The first one and was Kant. No, Shaw, apologies. Shaw was the first one. And then Mitchell Marsh. Mitchell Marsh just dragging the ball back onto his stump. Saxa Patel on 34. Mohamed Shami. Round the wicket he goes. Slower one, drilled down the ground by Aksha Patel. He's got it pretty straight as he bisected the two. No, he gets round quickly to do the fielding. They'll get a couple here. Two more to Aksha Patel. Yeah, as you say, though, as sort of the, the captain who's going to go out there and try and defend a total in David Warner, he'll be thinking to himself, well, one-handed, Aksha Patel's just hit a six. So, as you say, the boundaries are so small. Any miss hits, we're going to go. Actually, they could not the stuffing out of this in the the power. If they if they get off to a flyer, yeah, could depends you're depends how they go about it. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. if they go, if they say, look, we're going to go hard, they could knock these off in 15, 16 overs. As this is driven high in the air by Axel Patel, but he's going to go caught by David Miller, sweeping on the deep cover boundary rope. But it's been a very good innings that from Axel Patel, but he had to go for it. And I think it was more toe end of the bat. And David Miller just sliding forward to take the catch. And it pretty square with Axel Patel. But Miller taking the catch. Axel Patel goes for 36. Two balls remaining. And it's 158 for eight. Yep. And uh, in danger of getting bowled out here. Still a couple of deliveries to go. And 158 doesn't seem like enough at this stage. But they do have couple of very very good bowlers up this sleeve Andrik Nokia is one of them he's coming out to bat now as well not the role that he's used to he, he wouldn't have batted much in T20 in his, in his career I wouldn't have thought he's kept the magnificent moustache that he was growing at the beginning of the year it's coming on a fearsome sight when he's running in with his massive moustache these days Is <laughs> Mr Nokia but yes he, he's really looking forward to watching him have a bowl on this uh, a bit later so there are two balls left Nokia is out there with bat in hand Shami is in to him and his first ball it's a swing and a miss from Henrik Nokia so we have one ball left it just doesn't feel enough 158 for 8 at the moment no it doesn't it doesn't and I would say normally one with the 160s are challenging totals on, on big turners where the ball's turning and you know sort of spitting or it's you know you're not quite sure whether it's going to turn or go straight on those sort of pitches 160 can be a challenge but generally if it's not massive turn then it can be very very difficult to defend lost ball then and Nokia toe ends this down the ground well he's got a fair amount of that actually I thought he toe ended that straight to mid off but actually it's gone one bounce to the long off boundary rope for four so a boundary off the final delivery and it means Rabbi Babara, the Delhi Capitals are posted 162 for eight. Yeah, it um, doesn't seem like enough, but they've done well. That's a good last over for Delhi to get them up above 160. Psychologically, it's better than being in the 150s. And uh, with their bowling line up, look, they're giving themselves, they're giving themselves a sniff. You never know. No, never know until two teams are batted on it. Not quite sure what's going to happen and with, with the you know the new ball is it going to react differently is it going to do more we never know Rogan Parra thank you sir you go and get yourself a well-known cup of tea um, the, the, the highlights of that innings really from a batting point of view 37 from David Warner uh, Safaraz 30 uh, Perel on his debut 20 and Axa Patel 36 from a bowling point of view for the Gujarat Titans well, Shami finished